Yep, the time has come to travel home. Yeah, it's been a fantastic trip, fantastic series. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the series here. I've loved every second of being back in Orlando, doing the parks, doing other things uh, as well, which you've probably seen if you've watched the vlogs. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of ready to go home, but not ready to go home. There's always something that draws me back um, to Orlando, and I'll, obviously I'm coming back anyway, if you've watched the vlogs. But I'll always be coming back to Orlando, that's, that's a given. But anyway, yeah, I was looking at the time there. It is 10 to 11, and I need to leave my room. So today's plan is... I have a pre-book transfer via Virgin Holidays for the coach, so either a coach or a bus. Um, so I'll be getting on that. They pick me up about two forty p.m. Uh, so twenty to three, and yeah, I'm, I don't really have any plans. I don't do anything really on travel day. I don't go anywhere outside the resort or anything, just in case. So today's plan is I'm going to leave the room just now. I'm going to go get something to eat, get a coffee, maybe edit a video, just relax, and then wait for the bus to come, and then go to the airport, and then on the plane and travel home. Uh, that's that's the plan. So join me today in this vlog, going home, back to the UK from Orlando. I'm flying with Virgin Atlantic again in the Economy Classic. I don't know how much I can record on the plane because the pens who's around me. I uh, so don't want to invade anyone's privacy with a camera, so I will bring as much content as I can on the plane. But yeah, let's go. Let's leave this room. Let's have a look at the view one more time and then leave the room and get on with travelling home. Let's go. Here's one more look. Say my goodbyes to the view that I've had over the last two weeks. Really, really enjoy my stay again here. Endless summer dockside. This is your first time watching me welcome to my channel. My name's Ian and I've just had an amazing time, amazing trip again here in Orlando, Florida. So anyway, I'm gonna say goodbye to everything. Now they walk by it <laughs> probably. But I'm gonna leave the room. Say my, say my goodbyes to the room. Um, and then leave the room and go get some food because I have my bag with me um, so I have I'll turn myself around here so because I have my suitcase and my bag it'll be very difficult to vlog too much just now I will try my very best of course um, but yeah I need to go get some food and coffee yeah, so, goodbye room, you've been awesome, and yeah, definitely catched a few waves here, been fantastic, fantastic, fantastic experience again, but anyway, <laughs> I am leaving the room. Backpacks on, final checks done, now to leave the room. <coughs> get some food and get some coffee just now and sit and relax for a little bit. What should I get for breakfast? Going up. This one. One, eight, two, eight. Three, two, go. So starting my day with an all-American breakfast. Going out in style. I got it in a to-go. 
in a box because it's easier for me to carry with my bag and everything. So let's see. There we go. I'm going to enjoy this and then I'll probably go for my coffee, edit a video. It's pretty good here as well. These tables are. We've got charging points here, USB points. These tables. I'm going to enjoy this and then get a coffee. So straight in to the sausages. A bit of the egg. And tomato sauce, of course. Veggies. All good, all good. Well, this is going to be a treat. I'm going to miss the bacon. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Good. Um, I think I'm going to have to go back to the gym when I go home. But I'm going to do it anyway. Back to the gym and uh, healthy eating. That's the plan. Just so I can come back and eat more pizza. That was good. I enjoyed that. Um, it is 5 past 12, as far as I know I don't have to physically go to reception to check out. I've been told that a few times at Universal Resorts, so you automatically get checked out, so you don't have to wait a long queue. So yeah, I've had my food, enjoyed it. I'm going to get a coffee and then go sit at the lobby area and probably edit a video for an hour, because the bus is due at 2.40, maybe an hour, two hours sitting doing that, a video, so I'm not going to do much apart from that but I'll show you what I can maybe of the lobby area but that's the plan, so let's go get some caffeine to keep me going for this long travel day So I had my coffee and I just chilled really, I sat and done nothing, no editing, nothing at all but I came outside just for a last minute heat and have a look at the outside again and say goodbye to the buses, I'm saying, I'm saying goodbye to everything. Um, there has a, a Mears coach just arrived, uh, it's 20 past 2 just now, mine's not due till 22, 3, so I'm going to check though just in case it's mine, I don't know if you can just see it there. Always worth asking the question in case, in case it has came early. But anyway, I'm going to walk around and try to get as much heat as I can before I go. Yeah, let's, let's go and check and see if that's my bus. So we're all good. It wasn't my bus. That bus was actually running 10 minutes late. So I'm going to stand here in the sun for the last 10-20 minutes before I get my bus. Soak up as much sun as I can and then get the bus to the airport. Just watching all the buses go to the theme parks. It looks like this is mine coming in hopefully because it is 3 minutes to 20 to 3 so I'm hoping this is mine. That was dropping off. Ah, that was me two weeks ago. Getting dropped off. <laughs> well, hopefully it's not long now. Till my bus comes, or coach comes. Here we go for round two. Hopefully this is my bus. My 
this. It is my bus to the airport. Don't know why I'm smiling so much going home, but it's, it's my bus. This has arrived. <laughs> Volcano Bay, we did not go on Volcano Bay in this trip, we'll go to Volcano Bay, but I do have a vlog, my previous, one of my previous trips, and I spent a day at Volcano Bay. So yeah, it's been a great stay here at Universal's Endless Summer Resort Dockside again. Um, I wanted to do Disney World, bits of Disney World, I wouldn't this, in this trip because I had unfinished business in my last vlog, um, and it was good to get to some of their parks, but I usually would do a split stay, so if I was doing majority of Universal, I would do a couple of days in a Walt Disney World hotel resort. Or if I was doing a Walt Disney World uh, stay, like a full stay, I would do a split stay over a Universal resort for three days or something like that. But I couldn't do that on this trip, but because I wanted to base myself here, like I have. But I wanted to go and do some Disney as well. So um, yeah, I, I had to get the bus and everything else and the bills and everything. But it was worth it in my opinion. But yeah, I wouldn't normally do it the way I have done, so yeah. But it still worked out for me, it was still okay, but I couldn't spend too much time at Disney Park if I wanted to get back, because I'd be too tired. One day I did get caught out and I was burnt out, but it was worth it for Rise of the Resistance. That was fantastic, fantastic ride. I think that's our cue to go. Goodbye, endless summer. That's it, home time. We will meet again. The buses have been fantastic on this trip. I've never had an issue, to be honest with you, with any universal transport. Let me say goodbye to Dockside. Back at the airport, there we go, and check in and go through security. Let's go. checked in and I'll see you guys once I'm through security. I'm going to put the camera away and get go through all that motion so I'll see you on the other end. Possibly on the monorail, the train going back to the other, the other bit of the airport where the planes are, where the plane is. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Back home. Well, back to the airport. I'll see the airport. Oh. Yeah. Me. Her. How are you? Orlando is central for so much to offer. There's a good chance we didn't see you do it all. Yeah, so this is yeah. very soon. It's Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer. 
hope you enjoy the Orlando experience. Please exit for gate 70 through 99. I don't know, can we blame the uh, hotel and say, come out? Time to stock up on some supplies. If you know, you know. If you don't know, then I'll show you. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I got snacks, they're not going to make the plane. <laughs> Definitely going to make the plane. My gate is gate 83 this time. Let's have a look at my line for the day. We are going to be on Champagne Bell. The pilot's getting things ready in there. It's such a good view. <laughs> so I'm going to go take a seat. Well, just a bit two hours before we take off. Look at that sun. I'm going to miss that, of course. Just under two hours until we take off, we'll be boarding before then. I'm going to just sit and relax just now at the gate and probably eat those snacks. Those snacks are not going to make the plane, that's for sure. <laughs> just need to buy more before I go on the plane. Anyway, I'm going to sit and relax just now and you can have a look at the famous Orlando carpet. In a while. It's been a while. They just taste different here. Don't know why. I'm gonna have to get another bag for the flight. Technically, I'm still on vacation. The diet hasn't started yet. I can't even get go to the gym today, obviously, so it's okay. And it's time to board. Time to board the plane. Nearly ready to go. Please now make sure your seatbelt's fastened low and tight, your seat's upright, the armrests down, and your footrest is tucked away. If your screen isn't in the back of the seat in front of you, return it to its home now. There's a safety card in your seat pocket. Have a good look through to remind you of what you've seen and for information about this particular aircraft. Please always pay attention to the signs and the crew. They're there to keep you safe. So if you have any questions, just ask. Now sit back and enjoy your flight. And thanks for watching.
managing the service in the upper class cabin today and Shelley will be the cabin service supervisor in economy and premium. Well, there are just a few safety reminders we need to tell you about before you settle down for the flight. As the fasten seatbelt signs are still on, please keep your seatbelt fastened for now.
is just coming up to 20 past 7 in the morning. While we taxi to the terminal, please keep your seatbelt fastened until the captain turns off the fasten seatbelt signs. Please remain seated with seatbelt signs and turned off and cabin crew prepared door for arrival. Yes, I'm back in the UK. <laughs> it's not that bad. But yeah, I have got to border control here. Got a bag okay, quite quick actually on a bag, like 10 minutes. But border control was about 20 minutes, so all in all, all good. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I picked up some food there from MS quickly. The MS is right next to where you come out of your bag collection. And I've just came straight out again, and I'm in this area here. I'm gonna go and check in and stay at the Holiday Inn, the new Holiday Inn here at Manchester Airport and check it out, I'm going to fall asleep uh, so yeah I'm going to hang fire just down until about 9 o'clock but like in a half an hour to wait because they are allowing me, I've, I reached out to them before I, before I travelled over and they said I could check in at 9 o'clock onwards and pay an extra £30 which is good so I'm going to do that so yeah, once I get to that time I'll check in with you and I'll show you where it is and how to get there but yeah, I'm really I'm starting to get a bit tired as well. Probably see it, I'm really tired. Couldn't really sleep on the planes. Okay, let's go. Still a bit early. Let's head towards the new Holiday Inn. And all you do, simply. So I've walked out of Terminal 2 there, out of these doors here. I came left just to kind of chill just now. But. We walk out this door and turn right. I'll show you in a minute where the signs are. So you'll see stickers like that, Holiday Inn and Ibis budget. So Ibis, I stayed at last time. Holiday Inn, I'm going just now. So follow the signs like that. So just keep following the signs. That's a sign there. Got a big sign above the sign of the, above the glass there. With the arrow pointing to the left. Across the road. So we'll Holiday Inn. This budget. Let's go across the road. You can see those big signs. These big signs here. Just keep walking this way. Got some puddles. You've got another sign. Then you've got another sign. Then you've got another sign. Yeah. This is me trying to get on a bag, push a bag. Then you've got another sign. The hotel is right there. So, terminal two is there. Two? Two is there. And there's a holiday in there. And there's another sign. <laughs> so, yeah, can't miss it. And where I stayed last time, so it says Holiday Inn is there. The Ibis budget is just round the back of it. The terminal is just there, I've walked out and just follow those signs. If you want to go back to the terminal, you just follow those signs saying terminals, going back that way. And the entrance to the Holiday Inn is just here. Just at the lights. You cross over to the right hand side. And there's steps and there's a ramp. Let's go in. Okay. How's it all right? So I've managed to check in early, so that's a great start so far to this hotel. So Yeah. 
Here we go. Three, two, four. Room three, two, four. Doors open. And the open behind me. I was watching. <laughs> oh. Doors open. Wait, three, two, four. Light on. Very nice. That's nice. This is really got everything that I need. Fantastic. You know I said I've not got much of a view, but this is ideal to show you where the ibis is. So that's the ibis where I stayed at last time when I came back over. And my room is up there somewhere. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is take this bag off. Oh, I'm so tired. Um. Yeah. Let me decompress for two minutes and then can recap on the flight because I know I couldn't record too much on the actual flight because again. I'm sitting next to someone that probably doesn't want a camera in front of them. So it wasn't really fair. But yeah, there's a few things we can we can discuss, but I will be back with you shortly. So I have not chilled <laughs> for the last couple of minutes. I've actually done a separate tour of the room as I as I always do. Um, so that video will be up, probably put up at the same time as this uh, travel vlog, just so there's no over overlapping information. So they'll be both put out probably the same day, if not within a day of each other. Um, but look at, look at that. I'm really impressed that was the kind of overall feedback I was given in, in the tour of the, 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 this room. So I'm very impressed with the kind of the layout, the thought behind it, the location. The facilities downstairs look cool. If I can get some clips in the hotel room tour, I'll do that. I'll not do it in this vlog because I'm just about to end this vlog shortly because I'm going to go. I'm just going to lie down. <sighs> Ooh, it's comfy. That's really comfy. Oh, anyway, as you can see, I am very tired, understandably. It's been a long travel day and I already miss Orlando miss it as soon as I've arrived back um, but yeah not to worry I know this is not the kind of series end of the series we spoke about that in the last day kind of day of the vlog but if you've watched all the way through and you follow me and you subscribe to me try to get comfy <laughs> then yeah I, I really appreciate you watching all the way through um, and the series the my latest visit over to Orlando for me so many new things uh, that I'd done for myself it was fantastic the weather was fantastic the resort was always uh, it's always good universal resort but I've been there before uh, but Doc said it was fantastic that's my new word amazing fantastic uh, that was incredible yesterday <laughs> um, all these new words but yeah uh, travel day to day to recap on travel Great flight, very good flight as always with Virgin. One small thing was the the hot food. I never got any hot food. It was disappointing. Um, I think that may be because I was sitting at the back of the plane. 
it shouldn't matter, in my opinion. Everyone should get the options and everyone should get what you pay for. I think that's how it happened though. So the hot food, sorry, <laughs> it's the hot food uh, option, there was only one le uh, option left when it got to myself and it was like a vegetarian pasta. And if it's the same thing I had before, like way back, it wasn't for me. So I said no and that's why I only had, what I, showed, I think I showed a clip of it, hopefully I have. And it was just like uh, crackers and a baguette or something like that, and cheese and I made it, made a cheese baguette out of it. Um, but yeah, there was, yeah, so I am hungry. That's why when I got off the plane, I quickly went to M&S, just so I can come to my room just now, have some food, go to my bed, see what time I wake up at, see how it goes. Yeah, because I'm travelling back home uh, tomorrow. But yeah, it's been a, it has a good travel day. There was, there was no, no major issues. The security at Orlando Airport was great coming through. It gave me a lot of time to chill. Fight was great, like I say, just that small thing, but that is what it is. But yeah, that's really it. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this travel vlog. Stay tuned for what's coming up soon. So, because I'm now back home, and there'll be obviously a lot of Orlando content to catch up on previously. I've got a lot of videos up there, uh, which have all came out from this series. But because I'm back home, I want to cover some local things. So... And also new things. I want to try and get the kind of little the, the geek that's in me in regards to conventions. I like going to conventions. I never really have vlogged them. I've maybe done like a uh, talk fest. So I have done talk fest and uh, SITC before. So I've done vlogs when I went down to London for them, and they're up on my channel. But this is but definitely I want to do conventions. So I want to support kind of local conventions. Uh, it's those this kind of local comic cons coming up, uh, a few of them in Glasgow, a few outside of Glasgow, some in uh, one Aberdeen as well. So I'm thinking about all these ones uh, that I could go to. If you know any yourself of kind of conventions or comic cons or any sort of, sort of things uh, that are different that's in Scotland, then let me know. Um, if it's UK, fair enough, sometimes it's a bit difficult to travel all the way around the UK, depending on where it is. I know there's a lot of conventions around the UK, but I just want to try a little bit of things locally, just short term just now, uh, being back. So yeah, that's what kind of content's coming out. A few, few trips to conventions, so look out for them, and if you know of any, let me know. So, on this note, thank you for watching this travel vlog all the way through, if you have. Thank you for your support, as always. Let's get back to Orlando soon. Keep an eye on my social media. I will let you know what's going on with that. So links down below for that on Instagram and Facebook mainly. So until the next video, until the next vlog, I'll see you all then. Bye bye.